Do you remember this? Do you remember the years when the little island of Malta stood alone in the Mediterranean, one of the smallest but most essential links in the chain of Allied defense and attack? Often her guns were down to the last few rounds. Her handful of fighter planes were draining their last gallons of petrol. Her people tightening their belts to the last notch and beyond. But still the George Cross Island stood firm. Still the convoys battled their way through to Malta's Grand Harbour. Had Malta fallen, there might have been no Mediterranean convoys at all. And what that would have meant, no one dares to think. The war is over, but Malta's problems are not. And to England, to plead her cause, come the Maltese cabinet, led by 38-year-old Prime Minister Dom Mintoff. They bring a novel request, that Malta should become part of Great Britain, represented in her parliament and sharing her social services. Malta's contribution to British strength in war and peace, her leaders claim, as well as her ancient civilization and practical experience of government, would entitle her to dominion status if she were larger. In fact, she held a similar status under the Roman Empire. So Mr. Mintoff presents his plan to Downing Street. Seated with his Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Cole, Mr. Dom Mintoff sums up his plan. The people of Malta have voted at the last general election, barely four months ago, for union with Britain. Such a union would guarantee their progress to the British standard of living, education, and social services. In return, they offer you, the people of Britain, a base as your own in the Mediterranean. They expect to have a say in our joint destiny by sending representatives to the House of Commons. Of course, they are willing to share all your risks and burdens. That we are capable of doing so has been shown clearly during the last two wars. Mr. Mintoff's plan is new and strange, but accepted or not, we should do something for the island which did so much for us.